I had a class here um, a couple nights ago, and um, this is the remnants of the class. And um, I hadn't had a, I didn't have a chance yesterday to come down and work on my stuff, but I um, I came down just now and I took all of my um, prints that I had pulled teaching the class. Um, and what I did is I piled them all up like this. We just used uh, computer paper, printer paper. And I piled all my prints up. And I, what I did is I kind of roughly put them in order by the rainbow. So I just, and I just pulled some of my reds. Um, and what I do is if I like it, like that one right there, um, I like the way it is. Um, of course, it could use some more stuff, but I don't want to cover it up a lot. I want to um, probably do some writing on it or some rubber stamping, um, that kind of embellishment. And I kind of like this guy, too. It looks a lot brighter when I film it, um, but that's because there's some metallics in it. <clears throat> Excuse me. But those I kind of like. <coughs> Excuse me. I kind of like those, so I left them there for now and then the ones that I think need more work this one is a hot mess but nothing is ever um, beyond repair I feel like but anyway I piled up my pages that I had made in roughly rainbow order so the other ones over there were the reds really and then I've got some that are in my oranges and yellow um, family and these are the ones that I feel like well no actually this is everything but then I will go in and f pull out ones that really could use some work. Like that one's just a one, a one-off, um, and so that's obviously not even close to being done. But like this one, I kind of like. So um, actually, that one you can tell is a one of my clean off your brayer pages because you can see the brayer, um, you know, shapes on there. Anyway, so again, just kind of a one-off. So I made a big pile, that one I love, but that could still have um, another layer. Right now the black uh, text is pushing the colors to the back, um, but if I put another layer on top, then of course we'd have kind of a sandwich there with the text, so we'll see. So I do them in order um, of color, so that what happens is I can then go in, I pulled some new stencils out that I didn't use during the class so that those can now be um, brought in. And then I have the, the stencils over there that I did use in the class. And then I have all the colors that I used in the class still out because then I can go back in and use them with these same pages. Um, I just, this as a side note, I was just, like I said, I was working on these um, before I turned on the camera. That one I love. It's getting there. And um, I was just working with this really cool stencil. And I'm loving my some of my um, brayer rubbing off cleaning pages. Um, this one's getting really grungy, which I love. And look at this one. I'm loving this one. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm loving that. Of course... You know me and my purples. Um, I always say if I don't use purple in a piece, it's because I'm purposely not using purple in a piece. And that one is fiery. So I'm loving my my uh, cleaning sheets right now. Um, so back to my pile. Like this one is like a total hot mess. Um, I kind of dig that. I don't know what I want to do with this at the moment. Um, so what I'm just going to do is put it to the side because I can. This one is in the oranges and yellows family. Boy, that looks so much brighter on camera than what I'm seeing. It's a, kind of a pale yellow. But this one is pretty, and um, this looks like it could have been a brayer clean-off page as well. You can see those big lines in there. Um, so let's do this as a background. We will stencil do a stencil over that and I'm thinking because I like a lot of the action that's going on there I'm thinking about a stencil that doesn't cover up a lot of what's already there but a stencil with some wide open spaces so that um, I can see still what I've got there but also add a new layer and a new element um, which is kind of what I did in 
this one that's on the floor. This one was, you can see the background, had a lot of, lot of grunge going on. And I went in with that stencil right there, that blue stencil. And I now feel like it's getting somewhere with some purpose. Um, with the same color, I used the same colors. So you can see there's like some areas that are getting a little muddy. Um, so when I go to make tags, um, I just wouldn't necessarily cut that part out for use. Or if I make an envelope, I would use that part on the back or something. But there are, you know, just some moments in there that are just really nice. So um, you can see on that one, like the stencil really did make it a little more purposeful. So let's see. Um, and that's the thing with jelly plate printing is you just really never know. Um, you can sort of plan ahead with color and stencils and things, but you don't really know how it's going to come out. So, but that's kind of something fun about it. And it's also the reason why anybody can do it. Um, you don't have to have any, um, experience really art, art experience. So well, then what I would do is I would go through my stencils that I pulled and just sort of pick out something that I think for whatever reason in my own brain would go well with this um and like i said i'm kind of looking for something that is it has a lot of open space to it um this would be fun because it is like a wheel this one when i see the names on them i do mention them um this is a crafter's workshop 553. So let's work with that one and just see if we can get some sort of a, almost like a Native American, I feel like. Look. Um, so this one has, we're doing, we're working with a lot of orange and pink and yellow. So um, I don't know, I'm thinking about, now we could go in and add some metallic to it. There's no metallic. This is really um, flat right now which um, I like metallic and I like flat, so you just have to decide what you feel like doing. Um, it's bright. I'm thinking about toning it down a little, perhaps. And so I'm wondering about... Oh, this is a tan. That would really tone it down. That's just a tan. There you go. It's tan. Um, I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about all that. What about a navy? Would navy be interesting with this? Oh, I'm still not convinced. This is called goose feather. This is just a buff kind of tan action there. Let's try a little goose feather. And I don't mind using these craft paints when I do this. So I'm just going to um, put a little of that on and should I go with metallic? Uh, what's this one? This is a um, a bronze. Why is that still blurry right there? This is a bronze metallic craft paint. And what the heck? We'll try some of that. A little too much, I'm thinking. Um, I'm always telling my students, you just want to start with less and you can always get more. So I am anticipating that that is a little too much. So I'm going to get another uh, brayer cleaning page there. I do end up loving some of these brayer clean-off pages, and I definitely do use them in my work. So I don't feel like they are wasted. So let's see what happens with this. Now, for beginners, as you see, as you're going down, you can leave it as um, shapes. Oval's usually the first go. But I don't want... Now, see how that's streaking? See how it's like um, really too much paint? You can tell it's streaking, and you see how the brayer isn't even moving? If the brayer isn't moving, that's a first sign that you have too much paint on there. So... I am going to go right over to my clean off page and I'm going to remove some paint onto there, which, like I said, usually love these. Look at that. That's just fun already. Um, and then you go back in and you see if you can get your brayer to move, which 
you can tell I'm just holding it ever so lightly um, to see if I can get the brayer to move and it is sort of but you can tell I still have too much paint so I'm going to go back into this and clean it off Pretty good for one-handed, don't you think? I didn't um, anticipate filming, so I didn't even set up my tripod thingy. So, let's see, how are we doing now? See where you push this down to go? And that's sometimes where you get those lines and blocky looking things too. So, um, still pushing paint. We don't wanna push it, we want it to roll. So let's clean and go back. There, that's getting there now. You can sort of tell because of the way the brayer's moving. And I don't want to push paint around. I want to roll. Come on, come on. Now see how much that's blended now? A lot more than when it was just oval shapes in the first place. So let's clean this sucker off again. It's very camel-y, this color. Now, I had mentioned using this um, wheel stencil and when it's bigger than the gel plate itself you can choose to do an off-center um, you can choose to do, do it hold it off you know place it down off-center um, you can choose to center it there's different things you can do I think just for the sake of trying something different and showing you something different we'll go off-center not worry about it being in the center um, and again because I do like what's happening there already and I don't want to cover too much of it up um, I am going to go in with um, like a little piece of paper and crinkle it up a little bit and just be removing some areas um, with the paper Go in and sort of just blotting. Look at that. Because it was crinkled up um, in this weird shape, it's actually creating these cool little moments. Look at that one. So let's just keep trying that because I like it. We're almost creating a stencil within a stencil. And let's pull a print before it dries. Look at this guy. I'll put him on here. And we will press. This one you really want to get into those little cutouts. Um, let's see if we got anything fun. What do you think? Um, it didn't, it didn't, um, it didn't tone it down very much, but it does, I do feel like stencils do start to make a piece a little more pers pur purposeful and have personality. So it's like, okay, this looks like a sun now, you know, it looks like it's radiating, um, because there is a shape to it now. Um, so that is by no means for me finished, but it's definitely better than it was, much more interesting. So I'm gonna pull this off, and I always lay this down onto a junk page and just, you know, see if there's anything on the back of that stencil that I can get off. Usually there isn't much on the stencil itself unless it's super juicy and you haven't cleaned it very well or you've used too much paint. Now, if you look at this jelly plate, you'll see this remnant. And what I'm going to do, sometimes, well, most times, I lay a piece of paper down there and I pull a ghost print. Um, but this time, I'm going to let this dry. And this is really hard to wait for because it's so fun to work on these that um, you just want to keep going, keep going, keep going. But what I'm going to do right now is just, like, let this dry because what happens is the coolest thing is it stays there. Everything you put down first is going to be in the foreground of your print. It's going to be first, the first thing you see. So um, 
that is going to, when you let it dry, it's going to be there. Then whatever I put on top of that will be like next, going back, you know, behind. And you can get some really cool effects with this. So the longer you wait, the better. Um, but it is hard to be patient. But you can sort of tell, like if I touch this, it's not really going anywhere, see? So that is going to be cool. Um, and I don't even have to necessarily do it on that guy. I can pull a new print. I can do whatever I want. I can find something else. Like there's this guy, which he needs a lot of help. So maybe we work on him. I don't know. Let's see. I don't want to ruin that one. Hmm. He needs a lot of work. Why are they boys? I don't know. She, he. Um, I don't know. How do you even choose? Let's just work on this yellow guy. So this time I think I am going to go in with... Let's see. I do spy some greens in there. What if we went in with some like a dark green or... What kind of greens did I have out that night? I don't want to use this guy. Again, he's a guy. He's a guy. Ooh, if I use white, this is already like, no, this is tan. Did I not have any good greens out that night? I don't know. I thought that was like a, well, there's this holiday green. Do I want holiday green? Hmm, maybe holiday green mixed with something else. Picking colors. It's not really something that makes much sense. Just kind of what you're in the mood for at the moment, I guess. I don't know. All right, we'll go holiday green. Why not? Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. All right, so I'm going to drip a little holiday green. And I'm going to go... What is this? This is a yellow ochre. Okra? Ochre? Hello. And this, this type of paint is by Soho. This is some Soho paint. Let's see. Why won't you focus, friend? There we go. Soho Urban Artist Acrylic Yellow o Okra. Ochre Golden. Um, I don't remember where I got this, but I like these. I think I may have gotten them as a sample in another package of stuff that I purchased once. Maybe Blick? I don't know. Oops, that's way too much. See that? Um, I hate it when people do that in my class, and I just did it. So I'm going to remove some with my finger, and before I put it somewhere else, I'm just going to blot it around. And, and after that, I'm just going to put it right there and use it later for something else because, geez louise, that's too much. Okay. All right, let's brayer. hate that feeling of getting too much. But remember what we're doing here? We are going over this dried um, ghost stencil leftover. And yes, that is a technical term. That's pretty cool what's happening right there. Um, that would be fun to pull a print that was just um, this mottled, almost like... Um, lettucey kind of thing going on there but I'm gonna keep blending we're blending we're blending and I love the feel of when the roller is actually rolling you can tell you have just amount right amount of paint it's very um, almost sticky tacky and you can feel that and you feel that it's doing what it's supposed to be doing um, my my, this particular jelly plate has a big um, dent in it. You see that divot? Um, and I remember saying, I'll just use this one because I'm the teacher and I'm just going to take the one that's got a big dent in it because I don't mind. But for my solo work here, I could have um, I could have gotten out one of my other <laughs> jelly plates. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of digging that. So shall we just pull or shall we put another stencil i wonder what would happen it's a lot of fun too you know what we're gonna do we're gonna do like one of the we're gonna do a, a pull it off the side we're gonna do like a half halfsy we're going to get all this other junk out of the way 
We're going to get him down on half of the plate just for S and G's. I'm going to really press him down and see what happens. I really don't know what to expect here. Whoops, I just pulled some off in some of those areas, which remember we did that with the paper, and now I'm doing it with my finger. <laughs> um, all right, so remember I said I would be working on this yellow one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it down the full way, lie it down, lay it down, and I'm going to press this really hard because I'm wondering if it's going to pull up that dried leftover. Remember that? That was like the whole point. In this, I'm going to press harder than I normally would have to because I want to get the, you know, the cutouts from the stencil. I really want to see if I can get some paint on there. Some of the holes are bigger than others, so we are trying to see what we get here. Now, Who's taking bets whether I'm going to get that cool background thing or not? Ah, now the reveal. Let's see if we got anything cool. Well, we got stencil. I like it, but I don't know that there is some. Now, it was tan, so that's, first of all, hard going to be hard to see. But I do see in here, I see, you know, remnants from before. Here. Um, so, yes, I do see um, all this. So, I do see it, actually, um, all this. So yeah, I think it worked. It was just tan and it wasn't, it's not a, it's not a pow kind of moment, but it's definitely cool and it's definitely cooler than it was before. Um, and when they dry, they look different too. Um, and then I also did get some action on this side. So you see how that's way more interesting than it was when it was just those yellow, um, shapes. So now we've got a few different things going on, and this could even use a lot more action. So I'm going to put this with the other ones. And so it's like, you know, it's just day two, and I'm adding to the other backgrounds and just ha having fun, playing with some different techniques, and seeing what I can do. And these will be pages I use in journals. These will be tags. Um, I was showing my students, you know, so this kind of thing. So you've got a tag punch and um, that is super fun to use in your journals. You're doing a journal, making your own journal. So you get to um, punch out tags and any shapes you want. I did, we did, uh, we talked about doing some book pages. Um, and so we had started a few of those. I love the idea of the, uh, text on the text. That is really fun. So we did some of those. This is the, when you, depending on which way you put the stencil onto the jelly plate, you're going to get backwards words or forwards words, forward words. <laughs> so this is, um, you can see, see the word beach at the bottom. It's backwards, which I totally don't mind at all. But if you purpose, you know, if you need it for something, then you're going to want, like, there's love. You're going to want it to be, you know, readable, correct. Um, so just watch out for that when there is a word, if you care, whether it's correct or funky. So um, I am going to turn this off for now and uh, catch back up with you guys. Oh, of course, there's some leftover action there. So it's just so fun to <laughs> look at the stencil. It's like, it's got a big green section. Um, it's just so, see how, oh, see how much it did clean off that original? Remember we were like, okay, let's get that leftover. And then we got it on there, but we just didn't see a ton of it because it was tan. You can totally see where it's gone. 
Um, and then this will be somebody else's background colors and, and pattern. Um, so I'll sign off for now and um, maybe my next video will be uh, things to do like when they're dry we'll put, we will do the punching out and uh, making some pages and envelopes with them and that'll be fun too. Cheers!